I'm just waiting. <laughs> well, first of all, hello everybody. Thank you for uh, joining me. It's just coming up to five o'clock in the UK. So we'll have part of the world joining us and the other part are going to be fast asleep in the bed. So they'll catch up with the recording in the morning. So I am now going to just waffle uh, for a few minutes until we get a couple of hundred, oh grief, we've already got 303, until we get people come online. Um, so I'll make it literally three minutes to five. I will start the EFT just after five o'clock. So I'm going to give you a little bit of news. Um, most of the world, I hope I'm correct in saying this, the majority of the world COVID-19 is now becoming a reality. And certainly for us in the United Kingdom, uh, we're going to be having far more stringent measures laid down by the UK government over the next few days because the public, not many of the public, are not taking it seriously. The government have asked us to stay at home unless our journeys are essential and yet in all public places there are crowds. So uh, new measures are going to be put in force and it's going to hit the people here very, very hard indeed, uh, including me. I don't want to be stuck indoors for three months without going out, you know, unless it's to get food or to a pharmacy. It's, uh, but it, these are very strange times in which we are living. So what I'm going to do to try and compensate for the boredom that so many of us are going to have to experience is I'm going to come online more frequently. <laughs> now, some of you might be thinking, oh, my God, no. Uh, and others might be quite pleased. But this morning's inspirational talk really did prove to be extremely popular. And uh, the feedback from it has been nothing less than amazing for me. So I'm going to do more of that. I can't give you days and times. I'll probably just pop up now and again. So if you've got uh, notifications selected on your iPad, computer, laptop, phone, whatever it is that you're using, you'll know every time I come on. But... I would imagine, what I'm hoping is it'll be at least every 48 hours. And I'm also going to get Sally involved uh, with just Sally and Dave talking, you know, because, again, many of you like that. Now, she's not in the room. She's uh, in our other room with the dogs. And I'm going to tell you, <laughs> she hates coming on in front of the camera. Absolutely hates it. It's just not her thing. Whereas for me, you know, I've been a lecturer for many, many years. I'm used to standing in front of large crowds, small audiences, you know, whatever. And it doesn't faze me, but it does her. So many of you have been saying, we want to see more of Sally. We want to see more of Sally. Keep doing that, please. <laughs> Keep doing it, because I'm showing you those messages and uh, we'll get her on here a couple of times a week. That's what I'm hoping. So we've got 557 people and it's just gone five o'clock. Now, what I would ask is, this is a therapy. It's a therapy that most certainly does work. And your temptation might be to write a load of notes. Now, if you do that, you're not going to be present in the moment because this is going to be practical hands on. I want you to experience the power and the wonder of emotional freedom therapy. OK, I want you to experience it. And if you're going to be trying to write notes on what to do, how to do it, um, you're going to miss the magic of that moment. So what I will do, I haven't done it yet, but I will make um, a copy 
of the very brief notes that I've got here. They're just headlines so that I don't get sidetracked too much. And I'll put that into a legible format and I'll post it on the channel, okay, as a comment on this particular feed, the EFT number one feed. It'll be posted there and you'll then be able to just, if you wanted to, read it. But I'm intending to get this right into your memory in the next half an hour so that you wouldn't need notes ever, that it's just going to become second nature to you. So let's start. We've got 679 people. There were over uh, 4,000 applications for this, would you believe? 4,000 people sent in the uh, details saying they wanted to be part of it. So I expect that we're going to have folk come on during the course of this. Just ignore it. If you've got those numbers at the top of your screen, just ignore them. I've turned the comments off quite deliberately, the live chat, so that we can all be present in the moment and do this practically together. So let me just make a couple of things absolutely clear before we get stuck in. Number one, I am not a doctor of medicine, all right? Uh, I'm saying that for the folk who are going to be watching in America because you can't give treatment unless you are a licensed MD. So I am not a doctor. I have never been medically trained. So for purposes of this video, and this is like my disclaimer, this video is entirely for entertainment purposes only. All right, entertainment purposes. I am not a trained doctor. This technique is all over the internet. You know, if you Google it, you will find uh, lots of information on it. But what I'm going to teach you tonight is the Gary Craig method, a little bit adapted, but it's the Gary Craig method who started the company and his website is emo free. There's a lot of information you can get on there free of charge. There are EFT therapists all over the world, trained, who know what they're doing. And they will probably want to charge you some money um, to teach you how to do this. I'm not in this for the money. I'm wanting to help the world quite seriously. So let's see how we go. So emo free. Gary Craig, and you can play this back and it'll be on the notes that uh, I send out in a couple of hours time. Now, I learned this technique from one of the original EFT masters. And I can't remember whether it's 10 or 12 of them. I think it's 10 in the world, that's all. And his name was Carl Dawson. And I learned to be a practitioner, which means I could go and use this uh, to help people professionally, that I could, I then went on to become an advanced practitioner, and that involved more training, another certificate. Then I uh, trained in serious illnesses and diseases using AFT to help people. And then I trained to become a trainer. So I was training practitioners and advanced practitioners both in the UK and in America. So that's the background I've got behind all of this. Now, I'm also going to ask you to be 100% realistic in the way that this is going to be used. It's for you. So it's any problems or health challenges you have. It's not teaching you to go out there with the public and charge a fee. That's not where it's at at all. It's all about self-help, helping ourselves. Now, some of you who've been watching my earlier videos when we were quarantined on that royal diamond princess, well, yeah, diamond princess in Japan, uh, I mentioned that I was really embarrassed about my broken tooth. Uh, I've got a tooth broken off at the root and the root itself here has got a break in it, right, right there. And when that flares up the pain, oh, it's agony. So I can use the method that I'm going to be teaching you, EFT, to ease the pain, but it's never going to heal the tooth. Does that make sense? That tooth is broken. The root is broken and it has to come out. But at this time, 
no dentist is prepared to put me in their chair because of COVID-19. So I don't know how long I'm going to be stuck with this damned hole uh, in my gum. You know, it, God, it looks awful. But anyway, so we have to be realistic. We can ease the pain, but it won't heal the root and join it all back up and make it perfect and grow a tooth. It's not going to do that. So first thing is, with AFT, we have something that's called the basic recipe. There's two parts, two parts to doing this EFT. And the first, this is aggravating me, my little bracelet. The first part is called the, the basic recipe. And it's all about the emotions that we have in our body, in our life. And all negative emotion is caused by one or perhaps more than one disturbances in any of the 14 energy lines in our body. Now, acupuncturists will call those energy lines, this is where the energy flows all the way around our body, uh, through all of the organs, you know, it's continuous loops. And we've got 14 of these meridians, these energy lines in our body. And if there is a disturbance in one or more of those energy lines, it's going to show itself and it makes us um, uneasy and we might behave in a slightly different way to how we would normally. So it's a disease, not disease, it's a dis-ease of our whole being. And that will generally show itself as an emotion. So what we are going to do, we are going to focus very clearly and definitely on the emotion as well as the problem or challenge that we are finding in our life. This will become really clear in a moment. So we focus on the emotion, we focus on the challenge, and we're going to be tapping on 10 acupuncture points. Now EFT, it really is just like acupuncture, but there's no needles, so there's no pain. And I had acupuncture a um, few months ago, never again. I, I, I just did not enjoy the experience. All those blooming needles stuck at me, didn't enjoy it. But it's the same principle. We're going to be using the acupuncture points and just very gently tapping on them. We're not going to be doing it hard. It's going to be really gentle and at about this speed. It might be a little bit faster. We'll see as we go along. Now, by going on to the 10 acupuncture points, we are going to be covering 14 meridians because some of them cross over, okay? So all 14 meridians, the energy running through those meridian lines, just think if there was a roadworks, a blockage, an accident or something that was stopping the energy running through, you get a traffic buildup, it causes a disturbance, everything slows down. Well, this tapping technique, EFT, is going to just move that roadblock right out of the way. It's not going to put it somewhere else. It's going to clear the roadblock so our energy will flow smoothly and clearly and our emotion, our reaction, is going to change. So as we tap, the disturbance will, will gradually be released from those meridians. Negative emotions, what we're looking for is for them just to drain away. It's an amazing experience. That's why I want you to, to be present in the moment. And if you're writing notes now, you're not going to be present in the moment. And this is all recorded, don't forget, it's all live. So we are going to, I'll teach you now, show you where the acupuncture points are. All right, not hard to remember. Once you've done this a few million times, <laughs> once you've done it a few times, you'll remember it, okay? So the first one is right on the top of the head. Now, the easiest way to find the spot, it's right on the crown. Easiest way to find it is put your thumb, I can't hear when I do this, put your thumbs into your ears and bring your fingers over the top of the head and where the middle fingers are, resting on the head, that's the point. That is it. Now, 
we don't want to be doing this every flipping time we start tapping, you know, just don't do it. So instead of using a finger to tap, use the four fingers of your hand and you just tap. And that is definitely going to cover the acupuncture point. Now you see the speed I'm doing it and the pressure. I am not whacking my head. I'm really not. I am just tapping on that acupuncture point. The next one, just here, just where the bone is on the eye socket. So again, use one finger for this and tap there. Does it matter which eye? Well, I tell you, when I'm with a client and we are doing this, sometimes I have to take over for the client if they get emotional. And I say, may I have your permission to touch your face? But I've never had anybody say no. And I go on like this. So I'm tapping left and right hand on there. But one is sufficient. OK, so I oh, don't know why I put them back on. So there. So we've got the head where we use four fingers, one finger on the bone. So it's the bone right in the corner of that eye socket. Next one is here on the side of the eye. And you'll feel the bone there and you just go in line with the eye and you just tap there. Next one is the soft part of this lovely bit of flesh that's underneath the eye. And again, you just gently press there. So top, here, here, here. Now that's easy, isn't it? Now I can put my specs back on for a bit. So that's easy. One, two, three, underneath the eye, four. And the fifth point is here, right in the middle of the lip. So again, I would use two fingers. Yeah. Then the next one is here, right where you have the under the lip and you've got that little ridge just there. And again, I could use more than one finger, two finger, three finger, it doesn't matter. But I find two is comfortable for me. All right. Next one, got to get undressed. Where the, and this is called the collarbone, OK? So where your collarbone comes down and meets in the middle here, that is the point we want to go for. And again, if you use all four fingers, you're going to cover that point. All right. So top of the head, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the next one is under the arm. Now, it's not in the armpit. It's literally under the arm. Now, for men, if you follow your nipple across here, that is the point right in the middle. Ladies, where you're wearing a bra, aim for the middle of the bra strap and you'll get the point. But again, use four fingers and you're definitely going to, it'll be an overkill. You'll definitely get the point. OK, so does that all make sense to you? Two more points to go. <laughs> the wrist. Now, this is a really great, powerful one. Let me come on here. It might be easier. Again, I use two fingers and it's on the back of the wrist. OK, so uh, if ever you're seasick, this is a really, really good one. When you're on the boat, you tap and you say a few words that I'll train you with in a moment. And that's fabulous. Car sickness, motion sickness, uh, anything like that. Really, really powerful. And the final one is here on this part of the hand. If you imagine you are going to do a karate chap, chop on somebody, that is the part of the flesh where the acupuncture point is. So again, I use all four fingers, either hand, doesn't matter which, works on both because all the acupuncture points, the pressure points, they're all mirrored both sides of the body. OK, so let me just go through that once more with you. Top of the head, the inside of the eye, the outside of the eye, and it's always on the bone, underneath the eye, just on that nice soft part, very gently, under the nose, on the chin, collarbone, under the arm, wrist, 
karate chop. There you go. That is it. That is the basic recipe. So whenever you hear uh, an EFT therapist talk about the basic recipe, that's it. Now, in the early days, and if you were to train with Gary Craig, you will see that there were other ones on the uh, fingers. I don't use those anymore. I'm probably going to get lots of complaints now from EFT therapists all over the world. I have found that this is sufficient to do uh, to help the majority of clients that are that come to me for assistance. Okay, but if you want to take it further, just have a look. There's lots of free information on the internet about EFT. So the next part, you know, remember I said to you there are two parts. First is the basic recipe, and the next part is the phrase. As we do the tapping, we have to be saying some words, and we speak directly into the situation, into the problem, into the emotion. So if it was my tooth, I can't get the tooth repaired through this, but I can ease the pain, all right? So I would probably say something like this for my tooth, and then we're going to do it to constrictive breathing to get our lungs working, okay? So I would say something like this. Um, even though, and as you say it, this is the setting up phrase, okay? Even though I am in discomfort or pain, with regard to my broken tooth, I completely and profoundly love and accept myself. Okay, now that might be a problem for some of you because not everybody in this world loves themselves. And we are going to be talking to our subconscious. So as we make these statements, if we lie, this is not going to work. So th there are two parts to that set up phrase. Even though I am in pain through this broken tooth, and the words don't have to be identical every time, by the way. Even though I'm in pain about this broken tooth, I completely and profoundly want to love and accept myself. So if you don't love and accept yourself, say you want to, and providing you would love to get to that place in your life where you do love yourself, it's no longer a lie. I desperately want to love and accept myself, okay? Now, you have to have the emphasis on the first part of the phrase and equal emphasis on the latter part of the phrase. Even though I have got this pain because of a broken tooth, I completely and I profoundly love and accept myself. Even though this tooth is causing me pain, I completely love and accept myself. Even though, we do it three times, even though this tooth is causing me bloody awful pain, speak the truth. Even though it's causing me terrible pain, I love and accept myself in such a profound way. Okay, you can change the wording around, but it has to be strong, it has to be powerful. And all of that on the karate chop as you were saying it, is started, this is a very powerful one, this is starting to clear the meridians and your body is going to come into the most wonderful change. So that's the setup phrase. Now I'm going to carry on about my tooth uh, just for the moment and show you how I do it right the way through. So even though I've got the pain in the tooth because it's broken, I completely and profoundly love and accept myself. So even though this tooth is giving me hell and I wish the pain wasn't there, see the truth in all of this? I wish the pain wasn't there. I completely and I profoundly love and accept myself. Even though this tooth is causing me pain, I really do completely and profoundly love and accept myself. Pain in tooth, pain in tooth, pain in tooth. Pain in tooth, speaking directly now into the problem. This pain in my tooth. God, I wish it would go away. This pain in my tooth. This pain in my tooth. The pain in my tooth. The pain in my tooth. Back of the wrist. Pain in my tooth. 
the pain in my tooth. Okay, now that's what we call one round. Now, before we start the constricted lungs, and before we do it for anything else that we have issues in our body, what we need to do is assess what the level of discomfort is. So with my tooth, my level of discomfort is literally 0.5, half of one. It's, it's just not there. Uh, I'm doing this <laughs> so regularly. The pain is not there. I know it needs to be dealt with, but the pain is not there. But let's now go on to the lungs. And this is what I was doing when I was diagnosed with pneumonia, acute pneumonia. And they told me that I was going to be put on a respirator. That frightened me. I'm going to be totally honest with you, it frightened me. And I did not want to be on a respirator. And EFT came to mind. And I started doing it. The, they put a thing on my, my finger four or five times a day to measure the oxygen in my body. And it was on 93. I was told if it goes down to 90, they are going to put me on a respirator. So I had to do something that was going to work quickly and it would be effective. And I didn't feel that great. That night that I was taken to the second hospital, that's when I was at my lowest ebb. And if you've seen any of the TV interviews, that's where Sally said, she genuinely thought I wasn't going to make it through the night and that she'd be bringing me back to England in a box. Uh, I didn't realise how ill I was, but my breathing was terrible. But I had enough energy to start tapping. And this is what I did. You know, I just did basic recipe with the affirmation. Now, before we do this on our lungs and... I hope there's nobody else in the room with you because I don't want you to feel stupid when you're doing it, but we're going to do it together and we're going to say the same words together. And if you can imagine, we've got over a thousand people on this channel right now. Can you imagine the power that is going out into that universe with a thousand of us saying the same thing? You're going to be helping me and I'm going to be helping you. This is the way the universe works. Absol I don't want to start preaching at you. It's, that's my belief, okay? Uh, but it is incredible when we have got a number of people all wanting the same thing, the same desire. Magic happens. Okay, so before we start to work on our lungs, just to take a breath. I, I want you to take a deep breath, but not so that you become uncomfortable, all right? Just take a deep breath and hold it for a second or two and then release. So just follow my example. Let's just pause for a moment. Now what I want you to imagine is what your lungs could be capable of achieving. So let's say your lungs were working or could work at 100%. What percentage do you think you just achieved in the way your lungs opened, received the oxygen in, what do the air in? What do you think on a scale of zero to 10, where 10 is amazing? I feel like an athlete, I could run 10 miles without stopping. You know, you'd be on a 10. Oh God. Um, I could feel the discomfort coming in, you know. Maybe you feel it was a two or a three. Or maybe you surprised yourself a little bit and you think, well, that was actually a four or a five. Now, if you do have a pen and paper in front of you, I just want you to write down that number just so you can remember it, all right? What number out of 10 would you say that deep breath was? All right? Okay, so now let's go for it. Setup phrase. Now, again, this is really important. And the more you do this, you're going to get more experience in getting the wording close to, to where it should be. 
it doesn't it, it mustn't be wishy-washy you've got to really nail it all right so i'm going to suggest something like um even though let's just i'm just thinking for a moment even though i feel my lungs were not expanding well i deeply and profoundly love and accept myself all right does that feel fair and truthful even though my lungs didn't appear to be working that well or expanding that well i completely love and profoundly love and accept myself that's what i'm yeah i'm happy to go with that it'll probably change because i haven't got it written down so it'll probably change as we go so now join me <laughs> going on to our karate chop okay and you're not doing it hard it's just very gentle and this is where we give the setup statement three times just have a look at the piece of paper and the number that you wrote down what was it two three four five what was it even though my lungs copy what i'm saying even though my lungs didn't feel they were fully expanded, I completely and profoundly love and accept myself. So even though I feel that my lungs could be doing a lot better than what they are, even though I feel my lungs could be doing a lot better than what they are, I completely and profoundly love and accept myself. Even though these lungs of mine are not working as efficiently as they could be, I completely and profoundly love and accept myself. My lungs, my lungs, my lungs, my lungs, my weak lungs, if only they would become stronger, if only they would expand a wee bit more, than what they do right now. These lungs of mine, these lungs, these lungs, back of the wrist, these lungs, karate chop, these lungs. Now that's one complete round and we're going to do it twice more. Even though my lungs aren't working as efficiently as they should be, I completely and profoundly love and accept myself. Even though these lungs of mine aren't working in the way that they were intended, I completely and profoundly love and accept myself. Even though these lungs, these very old 74-year-old lungs, are not the same as what they used to be, I completely and profoundly want to love and accept myself in a new way. My lungs, 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 my lungs. Straight into round three. Even though these weary and tired lungs aren't doing the job they used to, I completely and profoundly love and accept myself. These lungs, I should say that three times, sorry. Even though these lungs of mine, now quite old, not working in the way that they should be, I still completely and profoundly love myself. Even though I've got these lungs that are not working anything like they should be, and it worries me, I'm concerned, I don't want to be put on a respirator, I love and profoundly accept myself. These lungs, these lungs, these lungs, these lungs, these lungs, these lungs are mine, these lungs, these lungs. These lungs, these lungs. Okay, so we've done three rounds and you can see how I was interchanging words and that's fine. 
Okay, what I'd like you to do now is just sit back and relax and take a deep breath without causing any pain or discomfort. Do it with me if you would. Now you've got to be honest at this point. Did you feel your lungs expanding more the same as or less than the first time when you wrote down the number? What do you think your number was? Make a note of it. So now you've got a comparison of before and after. Okay? Now, we're going to conclude this in about 10 minutes. And what I would like you to do is um, to send me comments about whether you felt a difference. And you can carry this on every half an hour. You just do it. OK, you just do it every half hour, every hour. But don't create pain or discomfort and don't do a number of big, big breaths consecutively because uh, it'll make you feel lightheaded, you'll hyperventilate, and that's not doing anybody any favours. So do it as I've shown you on the video. But there's something else now that I want to show you. And this is what I did in bed in the hospital in Japan. So I was doing this during the day. But I didn't want to keep Sally awake because she's in a bed just a few feet from me. We were really close together. So this is what I did. Lying down in the bed, head on the pillow, lights turned out, nine o'clock in the hospital, lights turned out, and I would do something quite different. And I learned this from Gary Craig, the founder of Emo Free, of EFT, okay? I learned this from him, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. So what I want you to do again now, please, is take another deep breath, Make a note of where you're not, where you just did. You've made a note of that last number. So I want you to take another deep breath to expand your lungs, but without causing you any discomfort. So here we go. Do it with me. Out. Now let's just pause for a moment. Have a quick chat. How do you feel? Ready for a cup of tea? I most certainly am. Evening meal coming up soon. Right, let's now do it again. I didn't want to do it straight away because I don't want you to hyperventilate and I don't want you to overdo it and become lightheaded. So another deep breath. Out. And we have another little chat. So I hope everybody is still feeling okay, that you're with me. Uh, 1, 1,100 of us on at the moment. It's not bad, is it? Okay, and for the final time, we're going to do it again. Nice deep breath in. And out. Okay. We're just pausing for a moment. Now, we're going to do it once more. And I've, after you've done that, I'd like you to assess if there's any change in the number. I'm not expecting there to be, but it would be interesting to know. So final time, and then we take our number. I just want you to assess what you think that capacity, that lung expansion was, whether it's changed, whether it's increased or decreased. So final time, here we go. So make a note of your number. So you'll now have three numbers. When we first started it and before we tapped, the second one is when we had finished tapping, was there a change? And the third one, just now. Now, don't be tempted not to do what I'm suggesting. All right? You're in a very safe place. You're in your home or place of work or, you know, you know that you're in a safe place. And it's a place of love where nothing can hurt you. Trust me, 
and close your eyes, please. Come on, do it. Close your eyes and just listen to my voice. And I want you to imagine that as you are breathing in right now, that there is a very, very bright light coming through your mouth or your nose and going into your lungs. And as that light is circulating with all of that uh, that oxygen, it's soothing your lungs. It's making them feel good. And it's going to give the ability for you to expand your lungs even more. This is the healing that you deserve. So each time you breathe in, imagine that beautiful white light and it's coming right round your lungs all around from the nose right down the track here into the lungs filling the lungs expanding the lungs not just with air and oxygen but with this incredible bright light okay open your eyes we're going to take another deep breath this really is the last one. Are you ready? Let's go for it. Don't overdo it. Just take it to where you feel comfortable. Has your breathing improved? What would you put the number on now? Be honest, don't cheat yourself. Be absolutely honest, make a note of your number. Now that's all I'm going to do this week. If you want to come back and do some more next week, we will, but it will be on different topic uh, using EFT. And if you have got a challenge with your health, let me know. But please don't email me. I can't cope with emails, I really can't. You've got to use the comment uh, underneath the video so the first thing is as soon as I say farewell now please just make a note of the numbers if your first one was three go three five four eight you know whatever it might go up down up that doesn't matter I just want you to be honest and make a note of the improvement hopefully of what you've experienced with your lungs all right so I'm gonna love you and leave you I hope you have found this useful. Practice the basic recipe. Practice the uh, phrases. And don't be afraid of it. It can't hurt you, but don't go... You know, it's gentle. It's really, really gentle all the way through. So that's it. I'm going to love you and leave you. Can't wait to see what your comments are on this. Really can't. Bless you all. Bye.